There's always an argument that comes up when people talk about DLSS. One of those being the fake frames argument, which isn't with the upscaling that's currently in Tarkov, and the other one being that it's constantly running at a resolution that's lower than your native resolution. That depends on the quality setting you set here. So for example, if I were to set at quality, it would be at 66.7% of your internal resolution. So for example, I run at 1440p and when I choose quality, it actually runs at 1080p and then upscales to 1440p. That is where you see a performance increase from, is that decrease in resolution. Granted, that performance increases only when you're GPU bottlenecked. Now, though, my friends, that problem is no more. Because now, as you can see in the bottom right, I am now running at 1425p, and then that's being quote-unquote upscaled to 1440p. This is DLAA inside of Escape from Tarkov. Granted, there are a couple things you have to do in order to get it to work, but at the end of the day, that's not a huge concern. I'll show you how to do that and more in this video and ways that you can get around any potential performance downgrades. However, before we start, just make sure that you hit the usual buttons down below. I don't need to tell you, you heard it on YouTube a billion times, but more importantly, join my Discord if you need any help. It's the first link in the YouTube description. There are over 3,000 people in there who are willing to help you out, including myself. So feel free to head in there and ask any questions you might have. Also, my times that I stream typically are listed on the top of the screen right now. You should check that out too. Anyway, let's get this set up really quickly. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to have this set up is you're going to need to have DLSS on inside of your Tarkov graphics settings. After you do that, you need to make sure that you close the game. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we change them using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector though, you need to make sure that you uninstall the NVIDIA app. The only reason you have to do this currently is because the current options to make this change aren't accessible in the NVIDIA app right now for Escape from Tarkov. They're present for a few other titles, but not Tarkov at the moment, meaning you have to do it through the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and NVIDIA App currently conflicts with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. To uninstall it, just hit Windows key and R, type in appwiz, that's A-P-P-W-I-Z dot C-P-L, hit OK, and this will bring up the legacy uninstall screen where you can find the NVIDIA App and you can uninstall it. Once that's uninstalled, you'll be able to change the values through the NVIDIA Profile Inspector without it conflicting. Also, this may be a little obvious, but just make sure you install the latest NVIDIA drivers before attempting to do this. This was recently added to the drivers in version 572.83, so if you're watching this in the future, just make sure you update to 572.83 or newer. You can download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector from the link that I'll have in the YouTube description. It's a GitHub link. This will be what their GitHub page looks like. You can just scroll down here and go to Assets and just download the zip directly. Once you have that installed and you've confirmed that the NVIDIA app is also uninstalled, you can go ahead and launch the EXE that came inside of that zip file. In order to get to the profile that's set specifically for Escape from Tarkov, you'll have to just go up here and type in Escape from Tarkov. You'll see it come up in the search right here and then you'll be in the correct screen. Once you're here, just scroll down till you go to the five section, which is labeled as common. Under this header, you'll see four different DLSS options that will be grayed out for you as they'll be the NVIDIA default. DLSS enable DL override, forced preset letter, forced quality level, and forced scaling ratio. You're going to need to enable the DLL override for this from here, so you just click on on. This is the same thing that the NVIDIA app does. Next, you're gonna to wanna to choose the preset, if you want to follow what the NVIDIA app typically chooses, you're going to want to select Preset K, which is the latest transform model for DLSS. Later on in this video, I'll talk about some of the performance downsides for older gen cards for using this model. So if you decide by the end of this video that you'd rather not use the newer transformer model, you can default to the older CNN model while still changing the base resolution by choosing Preset E instead. Presets A through F are all the older CNN model, but E provides the best quality out of all the given options right now. Again, if you want the clearer, more recent transformer model, stick to preset K. Next, you need to set the force quality level to be on custom, so go ahead and select that, and that allows you to change the force scaling ratio. As I mentioned before, this is where you can change that default resolution. So as you scroll through here, you will see that you see some, uh, <laughs> some familiar names in this list, and this is exactly what those different options choose. Quality is that 66% of your native resolution. So that's what the game chooses, and that's the highest you can set through the game. 
If you want to have more quality than that, you can go higher and choose a different resolution based on what you can run inside of the game. Keep in mind though that the higher you set this force scaling ratio, the more intensive it is to run, and it'll start to turn into a degradation to your GPU bound, excuse me, performance instead of actually helping your performance. This is totally not me recording this after I record the rest of the video. If you want to be able to check what resolution your DLSS is running in game, you can simply go to your registry and change this file located at this file path. I'll have this listed in the uh, in the NVIDIA description. Sure, whatever. In the NVIDIA sponsored description, not sponsored. But you just go to your registry editor, you can copy that in, go to this path, and then change this value to be 400 hexadecimal. If you don't have this value showing up, you can just right click and make a new D word value name it show DLSS indicator with caps in between, like exactly how it's shown here, and that will also work. Just change it to that value and you'll have this black box showcased on the bottom left of your screen, showing you your initial internal resolution along with your final desktop resolution that it's upscaling to. The performance impact is partially determined by what generation of card you have. 20 and 30 series owners, well, specifically 20 series owners, will have significant performance degradation when running this newer transformer model in comparison to the older model, I should say. So for example, if you're running DLSS on quality with the older model, you may see a 15% performance gain when GPU bottlenecked, but let's say you run the transformer model and all of a sudden you only get a 5% increase. And that's the downside of running the transformer model on some of those older cards. It's a bit harder to run on those older tensor cores. That's why having this as an option is really great because you can choose an option that still gives you very good quality, but doesn't sacrifice your performance in comparison to native resolution. I brought up an example from my system inside of CapFrame X that I'll be able to show you now. I'm stupid and I had it running in the background. Okay. So if I go over here and go to the comparison screen, I'll bring up some of the benchmarks that I had on a factory run. This was all offline, but the reason I did offline is that I could show you the scaling in between these different options when I'm specifically GPU bottlenecked, meaning that my GPU usage is at 100%. I have videos showcasing how to figure that out. If you're interested, I'll have them linked below. What you might be able to see based on this graph is that DLSS at 77%, which is coincidentally the ultra quality preset inside of this for me is the near replica of TA High's performance, meaning that if I were to run 1440p at TA High, it would perform basically the same as running DLSS at 77% of its internal resolution. This is 11% higher than the highest resolution you can choose typically through Tarkov's menus being quality at 66%. The, the higher you go in internal resolution, the more clear the image will get and the more sharp. However, you will also have a significant degradation to your performance the higher you set. So for example, going from 77%, AKA ultra quality to 85% render resolution with DLSS lost me about 10% performance. It was more like 8.5. Going up to 95% did the same exact drop again. What this means is you'll have to find that sweet spot in resolution based on what card you have. I can't give you a specific recommendation exactly because I would be sitting here naming cards all day. This, however, allows you to get a gauge of what you should set depending on if your GPU bottlenecked, how much headroom you have, etc. Those of you with, say, 4090s or 5090s or 5080s will have plenty of GPU headroom to simply run at 99% resolution and then just be chilling. Though some of you on, say, like a 4060 and you're, say, running at 1080p or maybe even 1440p might want to tone down the render resolution a little bit to something like ultra quality to, to still maintain that quality improvement while also keeping performance fine when your GPU bottleneck. For most of you, you're probably going to see the performance degradation the most on maps like factory and labs where a lot of users are typically GPU bottleneck. It may be beneficial for you to go on offline on one of those maps to get a better idea of the scaling on your system by changing to different presets, or not presets, but force scaling ratios in the NVIDIA app, restarting and then benchmarking them to see what runs best for your system or what you're willing to concede for the image quality. I also took the time to just get a couple quick screenshots for you to get an idea of the difference in between having these different settings. So I'm gonna have anti-aliasing on the left here, TA high in the middle and DLSS on the right. If you're wondering, this is NVIDIA iCat, and this is a really cool tool that's completely free, by the way, that allows you to just compare screenshots on the fly. For example, look at the difference in bush quality in between 
anti-aliasing off, TAA high, and then DLSS. This is with 85% vendor resolution, mind you. You can see for some of these that the fence is basically just gone. The, <laughs> the wires in the fence are basically gone. And the fact that DLSS is able to reconstruct that is insane. Not to mention the fact that it sort of is a middle ground between the blurry mess that's here and uh, the pixel art that's on the left here. It also was really cool to see the difference in tree quality in between the three different modes. You can see that anti-aliasing off is a very sharp tree, but will also have a ton of flickering, whereas TA high gets rid of that flickering, but makes it extremely blurry. And of course, DLSS finds that nice middle ground for you. This will only get clearer the higher I set this resolution. So I decided to go for something a bit more in the middle, so more of you would have an idea of what you could expect. This tree in the distance as well, accurately showcases the difference in reconstruction between these different modes. You can clearly see that TAA high and anti-aliasing completely off just fail to continue to capture some of the detail of some of these things, especially when we get up here. Uh, DLSS just keeps this tree a lot more fuller, whereas this sort of just smudges the leaves and just makes everything blurry. Here's one more quick comparison between TAA high and DLSS at 85%, the new transformer model. As you can see these windows here, if I zoom in a little bit, the sharpness on everything is just night and day. Wow, great voice crack. Some of these details are hard to get through YouTube uh, compression and even through my video recording compression, but I hope that the blurriness that you can see with TAA and the clarity that you can see in comparison when using DLSS makes it pretty clear which option you should use given the opportunity. Just use the setting that makes the most sense for your hardware, given some quick testing on, say, a factory map. You can very easily see what your performance is when, say, running native with TA high, and then choose the resolution that very closely matches that performance. And yeah, that right there is everything that you need to know for making DLIA happen in Tarkov. I know it's, uh, it's, it's pretty simple, but at the end of the day, I mean, this is a game changer to the quality of the game in my opinion uh, and also allows you to not have to deal with all the crazy stuff with dldsr where you up the resolution and then use dlss to bring it back down it, this just is a one-stop shop to just set it and then you don't need to worry about resolution for other games it's just set there and you're set if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below or in my discord which i'll have linked down below as well you can also always ask me live when i'm live on fridays at 6 30 p.m cst and sundays at 1 30 p.m cst for now this will be clem Locking out. Later.